Hey, welcome to the channel guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hook up a air duster blowgun kit inside of your semi truck with two easy tools, a pair of channel locks, and a razor blade. It's a super simple process. It takes about five minutes and we can complete this and get this installed. You can use this to dust off your truck, dust off yourself, or like me, I can just dust off my hat. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into this video so that way you can have one of these installed inside of your semi truck just like me. Let's go. When you're applying online at primeinc.com on your application, make sure when it asks you were you referred to by an active prime driver, make sure to click on yes. The box below that, make sure to put my driver code, Strexa. Now let's do some trucking. So we can actually hook up our air hose gun to either the driver's side or the passenger side. There's air hose on both. This is the driver's side. As you can see, I got the seat forward. I'm gonna be installing it on the driver's side. You can install it on the passenger side. There is an air hose down here on the passenger side as well of the seat. The reason I'm not doing it on the passenger side, which it probably would make more sense, because then I can hang it up here. Uh, That's where I keep my belongings. But anyways, I can hang it from up here. I'm just not going to move all that stuff. I do got to throw these boxes away, but to make life simpler for me in the moment and to make this video for y'all, we are going to hook it over to the driver's side. And then I'm just going to hang it from here for now until I get something for back here. I can, you know, hang it on there. So we're going to hang it on the uh, driver's side. I bought this kit on Amazon. It was 20 bucks. Comes with an air hose. This is the connection piece that we're going to connect in the uh, airlines on each side of this right here. And it's got a quick disconnect. This is the gun portion. This is a, a skinny blow tube. And it looks like they gave us some uh, Teflon tape. So let's get started. All right, guys. So I decided to go ahead and put it on the passenger side. Excuse the mess. I put everything on my bed for now. We're going to go ahead and do it on the passenger side just so that way I can make a little hook to hook the gun after I install it, it has a little hook here. It doesn't really quite hook on this, uh, but I could just put a zip tie on there and then hang it from here on the passenger side and just grab it and use it whenever I need it. So the airline should be somewhere on the passenger side. This is the airline right here. So we're gonna splice into this. Let me see if I can move this. Uh, we can get a better view here. Move this seat belt. It's kind of, it's kind of in my way. Let's see if we can get a better view right there. Does that look a little bit better for you guys? Let me uh, let me unplug this cord right here. Okay, I think that's about as close as I can get. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this line with a razor blade. So we're gonna take our razor blade and we're gonna cut a straight line on here, on this hose, or as straight as we can anyways. It's gonna start leaking air. So we just want to let all this pressure get off of this hose here. So we put the metal ring on here first. Now there's barely any air coming out. It's going to be kind of a pain in the butt, but it's kind of tough. We got to get this on, on this little nipple here. You guys see this nipple, this little nipple right here. That's a nipple. We got to get this hose past that nipple here and we got to kind of wiggle it in there. All right. Let's scoot this, uh, scoot this ring back. All right, we're just gonna keep, uh, we wanna keep pushing this until it's fully seated. It's fully seated on here. All right, now that it's fully seated, we're gonna tighten this up. And I'm gonna get a wrench and we're gonna make this tighter here. Now we're gonna get the other side just unscrew this by hand. We are going to have to tighten this down here with a wrench, y'all. All right, so the first thing that we want to do, we want to put our uh, our nut that has a hole around the hose. Make sure the, the side with the flat end goes on first. We're going to slide this on there. Might take a little bit of muscle to get it back. We want to get this back as much as we, well, not too much, but we want to push this back so that way we can push this hose around this uh, 
around this side of the nipple now. So we're gonna push this on here. And we're gonna just keep wiggling while we're pushing pressure. We're gonna keep wiggling it while we're pushing it. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna hand tighten everything. Okay, let's hand tighten everything up. See there? All right, let me go grab my wrench and then we're gonna tighten this up real good. We're gonna take our channel locks and we're gonna tighten these nuts on each side of here. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, remember that. Okay, that should be pretty tight. And we're gonna test it here in just a second. Take our hose in and we are gonna connect it here. So this here, you pull this back, you see that? And then we're gonna slide this in. There we go. Now that is connected in there really good. And this side is gonna be for the gun. Same thing, quick disconnect. There's the gun portion. This is all a quick disconnect setup. We just pull it back and push it in, and there we go. And this thing can spin around, that's not a problem. Okay. Hey guys, so we got it all connected here. What? See that? So I'm gonna have to start the truck up to let some pressure build up. But that, right there my friends, all you need is, well where did my, uh, where did my razor blade go? Is it in my pocket? I didn't need the Teflon tape. You can put Teflon tape on the threads right in here if you want to, I didn't. All right, let me fire up the truck so we can build up air pressure. That sound is my APU running right now, so. All right, so my pressure is uh, almost built all the way back up. I don't hear anything leaking, you guys. So nothing over here is leaking. Now let's test this bad boy. See what we got here. Bam. <laughs> Test it out. It looks clean. Look at that magic right there, y'all. So easy, a fifth grader can do it. Yeah, boy. Hey, that's how you do it. For more tips and tricks, everything trucking over the road, don't forget, give me that thumbs up, smack that subscribe button, and let's keep trucking, y'all. Yeah?